Hello everyone, welcome to this new episode of Tips and Tricks series. In today's Tips and Tricks presentation, I'm going to share with you how to find your questions and validate answers in 3 Swing. We all know that today in every type of tool, not only the 3 Swim application, but in any social tool that we might have, we do have constantly a lot of information in it. It could be from different type of content. In our case, it could be questions, posts, wikis, IDs, surveys, and so on. But then on top of that, there is another factor, which is people. Like people is a key in a collaborative tool, such as 3D Swim. People are interacting together by creating content, by answering, commenting to other content or to liking content. And that's really the power of the two. They are exchanging together. They're collaborating together. And then there is another factor that we need to take into account, which is the date when it has been published. Like if you want to find a content that has been published two years ago, that's going to be a lot of scrolling down. But if you want to look for a content that has been published for from two minutes ago, that will be easier. Yeah. So let me introduce you the tool 6W tags that will really help you find your content in the best way possible. 6W tags is a tool that allows you to filter your content like with several tags uh, and you can just select the one you're interested in and you will be able to find the right content you are looking for in the first place. So let's use the tool together and let's find out how you can find your own questions and how you can validate them. So here I am connected to my 3 Experience platform in my 3D Swim application. I see that I have a community where I'm part of, which is Play 3D Experience here. And I see that there is a lot of content in it. And I want to find out the questions I have asked in the past. And I want to see if all my questions has been answered properly. So to do so, I'm going to go there in the 6W tags icon. And then I'm going to look for the type question. And as I'm going to look for the question I asked myself, I'm going to filter here on the who tag myself. And I'm going to see also the maturity states because I do have a lot of questions and I want to make sure I only see the questions that has not been validated yet. So I'm going to go in the maturity states here. And I can see that there is two options. Either I can select the validated questions or I can go in the answer but not validated one. And this is the one that interests me. So by clicking on it, I can see in the middle that there is only one question that remains. And indeed, I did get some answer there, but I didn't validate it yet. So I'm going to go into the question by clicking on it. And as you can see here, I've asked questions yesterday on the possibility to read document presentations and tab in the Trilly Experience platform. And I did get uh, two answers from two different people. So the first one telling me that, yeah, it's possible, okay, but the information is, seems to be not that completed. If I look at the second answers, I can see that there is also a webinar to explain me that the function is, uh, is going to be available in FDO3 and that the webinar will give me more information on the other announcement. So this answer finds good to me. So I'm going to validate that answer by simply clicking on it. And if by chance I have another answer telling me another information that seems to be more relevant for me, then I can just invalidate this answer and validate the other one. Thank you guys. If you enjoy the tips and tricks, do not hesitate to visit the Enovia user community to really exchange with us and discover more tips and tricks. You can scan the QR code there to access that community.